Hello everybody, hello from Londoners. We're in the middle of Piccadilly Circus right now. This is one of the most iconic places, not just in England, but in the world. This place, I can say, one of the heart chakras of the world. And if we want to get an idea about the tension of society, I would rather come here to Piccadilly Circus to feel what people are going through. Especially in our times where social criticism is highly approachable. It's easier to let people down, it's easier to talk bad about people, hide behind fake accounts and discourage people and kill their confidence. Maybe that's why in our society anxiety levels are higher than ever. And today we wanted to ask people about their source of courage. Where do they get their courage from? Do they have any specific person or a thing that makes them feel courageous and more brave? So let's go. You know that because of social media and all that, it's more approachable. It's people are more approachable to just let them down bring their confidence levels down to talk bad about people it's easier so it just heightens our anxiety levels and today we wanted to just research do a little research about what gives people courage and what makes you feel brave is there a specific person is there a thing that boosts your confidence up and how do you battle with that um my mom helps a lot yeah she's quite encouraging so like can you give me like a specific example of a moment where she made you feel brave about a certain thing? Well, if I'm struggling to like go out or I feel nervous, my mum will like offer to come with me so I have someone there and stuff. Oh, amazing. Amazing. How about you? Um, probably my friends, like they'll help like tell me that it's going to be okay and stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. So you could say that people are really necessary for us to feel more confident, right? So we're we're actually researching for people's bravery levels this time because you know people are more approachable in terms of when people want to bring your confidence down. It's easier to talk bad at you like behind fake accounts and all that. So our anxiety levels are higher than ever, maybe. And today I wanted to ask you about: Is there a specific source that makes you brave and gives you motivation to be more courage? Just <laughs> yeah, probably alcohol, you know. <laughs> Wow, okay, but honest. <laughs> Probably. I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, really? yeah just, I don't know. Similar, you know? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Because I don't use alcohol. Like, um, uh, I'm asking, like, when you use alcohol for a moment, it boosts your confidence up. But do you think in the long term, it even doesn't help you at all? Yeah, in the long term, it doesn't. Like, in the long term, the next day, I'll be like, I would, I would never have done that. Why yeah. did I say that? But in, in the moment, it gives you confidence. Gives you confidence, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for your amazing, honest answer. Cheers, girls. <laughs> bye bye. So right now, socially, we're living in an anxious world. And the only reason is not the pandemic, but the one of the reasons is that people are more approachable in terms of like, if I want to say a bad thing to you, it's easier for me to do it behind a fake account or somewhere else. We're more approachable. So it brings our anxiety levels, it heightens our anxiety levels a lot. Uh, and today I wanted to just know what makes people brave, like specifically what makes you brave, what is your motivation, is there a single person, specific person or a thing that makes you feel more courageous? Okay, so it's a hard question, I'm not gonna lie, but I think what I learned so far, I moved from another country to another country during the pandemic. Where to where? From Italy to the UK. Yes, so I think for me the most, the bravest thing that I've done in the last couple of years, even though the pandemic is really hard, especially for mental health, I think finding something to do that you're passionate about is always gonna push you to follow whatever you dream. I 100% agree. I come from Turkey. I, I moved to UK as well, yes. I'm a singer-songwriter as well and I'm trying to do what I'm passionate about as well. And how about you? What are you passionate about? Um, I like to draw a lot and especially to learn new languages as well. So, and knowing new people, visiting new places, you know. So, I think with the pandemic, you know, even artist state of mind. Yes. Oh my god, amazing. That's an amazing answer. Like, I think this is the healthiest thing to make you confident. Exactly. Finding whatever makes you feel good during such hard times. Yes, exactly. For example, a previous question, previous answer was girl said. It's alcohol. I said, like, is this a solution in the short term? It's a solution in the short term. Very philosophic in life sometimes, but yeah. 
that's true. That's Thank you very much. So girls, uh, today we're researching about people's anxiety levels because now in our times, it's easier for me to bring you down. You know, like I can hide behind a fake account and say a thing that you don't want to hear about yourself and it can bring your confidence levels, levels down easier. Um, so today I wanted to ask you about is there a specific thing that makes you feel more courageous that gives you that makes you brave is there a specific person or a thing a passion um just being around my friends and stuff right. so you could agree that we're social beings and our environment especially people gives us motivation to go on yeah right do you have like a specific memory that your friends made you brave about a certain thing um, when I have exams and stuff, they all like help me, like they just give me confidence to go into the exam. Amazing. How about, how about you? Uh, I agree um, about like friends because she makes me feel very confident about doing things. And, all right. Yeah. Do you have like a specific memory? Uh, probably the same about exams, just she's very encouraging and like just helps me get through it. You know, in our society, anxiety levels are really high nowadays because of social media and the way people bring people down like without any filter. Um, so I wanted to ask people about, do you have like a specific thing that makes you feel more courageous? Something makes you feel brave? A specific person, a passion? Um, not really. <laughs> uh, I mean... And I jump up my phone, kind of makes me feel a bit safer. Oh, got you. Like I'm addicted to my phone as well because it makes you feel like you're connected, like you're not lost. And yeah, I mean, like I can like get Google Maps anywhere, and then like I've got money on my phone, so I don't have to worry about like losing my wallet. And then I've got my like train card, so I can always get a train anywhere. That's a really different answer. Love the angle you're looking from. Amazing. Um, I guess for me, it's just like I take my time to like separate my like busy side of my life from the time I have to myself and I really like cherish the time I have alone and that really helps me like build up my confidence for it. It's so true because like you are rearranging your whole belief system the way you think when you're alone right? Yeah yeah it's a bit like that. A specific memory or a moment where you were like I was so anxious about real life and then I got a time alone and then I got rearranged myself? Um, yeah probably I, I lived in another country for a while, like when I was quite little, and so I, where um, New Zealand, right. and so I like in my first weeks out there, I was away from home and I was feeling a bit like stressed out, and so I I spent some more time with myself, and I thought like how do I change the way I think to deal with it, and yeah, and it helped me get through like a lot of stuff like homesickness and making friends and stuff. Like that. So right now, because of our age, right now, it's more easy to let people down bring people down like heighten the anxiety levels because it's easier to talk bad about people and bring your confidence levels down so i was asking people today all around what makes them brave is there a specific thing that makes you more courageous motivates you to be braver uh, i'm not sure just like the passion to get out there you know right. yeah it's always the first step and taking risks uh taking the step first step and taking risks I love your answers both. Like, what's your occupation? I'm a costume designer. Yeah, freelance fashion designer, yeah. The answer you're giving is just like very artsy. It's quite busy and calm around London. We walk from Piccadilly Circus to Trafalgar Square. And right now we're in front of the National Gallery. There's a Christmas market over here. And right now Big Ben is getting out of frustration and we can see the top of it. It's so different that all of the people gave very different answers. We've got various answers today. I'm really inspired and satisfied by the answer that people have given me. I hope it has motivated you and caused to question yourself as well. If you have any answers, you can comment below. And I'll see you in the next video of Londonist. Take care. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Londonist's YouTube channel.